So what I'm doing is I'm going to um, drill holes in the boat and I'm going to carve it out afterwards like the, um, they used to do in the olden days like I showed you in the last video of the older ship so I'm going to drill holes and then small holes and then larger holes and then chip it out and see how it worked I mean my uncle did this his father did it and his grandfather most likely did it and so you know it was the way they um, built model boats in those days so I thought maybe I should give it a go even though it's a lot of work and I'm putting deck over here so it's going to be kind of like a compartment underneath or a space underneath put something in it or something afterwards but I'm not putting a motor in this boat I'm just um, going to do this and there is a feel to the boat that's nice because it is hollow so there's that element as well so so let's go to it and let's have a go at this Yeah, I put a little tape here so I don't go through the bottom of the hole. So it's a depth. Here's the drilling. And I started drilling the larger holes now. I'll do one or two, just watch. Now I've marked the drill again with a bit of tape so it doesn't go through the bottom. This is the way they used, the old boys used to do it. Doesn't always work for me. I'm probably not as good as them. As you can see, it is working. I got a way to go, and then I'm going to chisel out. So now I'm chiseling out my little uh, special hammer, of course. I'm chiseling out the bow of the ship here. How the old boys used to do it. It does work because it stops the um, from damaging the end of the boat. Now I have Dremel cut that in there. You know, in the olden days, used to come along here and just tip, but you know. I'm a little impatient. See all the modern technology you can still do it the old way. It has a nice feel to it. Comes out pretty easy actually. We're getting there. So holding your chisel this way with the um, taper up creates the chisel to dig in, so it digs down deeper, deeper. But if you turn the chisel around, it keeps it up and makes it a little safer. Oops, sorry, I didn't tighten that enough. A little safer when you're doing these pieces now. Now, sometimes I'll turn it one way and then I'll turn it the other. But you have to be very careful how you do this. I might use a Dremel on the sides a bit, I don't know. But there you go. And we're getting our hull shaped and carved out nicely. So yeah, I've been hollowing out for about an hour. And I'll open her up there. As you can see, I've got the shape. I'm thinking of putting a oh there we go. Look, a deck in here in the end. See? Out of plywood or something. And lifting this up a little, it's a little low, and making it so you can pull it off and put things in here or it's just, you know, the way I, I wanted to hull, hull it out, like the old-fashioned way. So, yeah, I put it there, see that strut, so that it doesn't crack the hull now. I mostly bring these in a little more, into the edge a bit more, like this one here. Clean them up. I might go a little deeper in this one a bit still, but we're really shaping up now. 
And you know, I can, if I had the other carpet, I put a deck in there out of wood and a deck in here out of wood. And you know, I might use a nice ply or something and bring this up to the top more again. But I want these decks most likely somehow to um, lift off. I'm not too sure how. But, um, and then you know, if you want, you can put something in here. Keepsake or something. But you know, it's more about the shape and the lightness of it. I wanted to try what the old boys did. Now they used to drill and chisel, and they used to get this to two millimeter here, and then there'd be a step. So you can imagine how good they were at it.